Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. <laughs> oh, this 80 pound dog is on my lap. Oh my goodness. Say hi. Bandit. Hi. You snooped a microphone. Come here. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Oh. Off. Yes, good boy. Good job. Hi. Today I am filming this after work. It's 6.20 on Wednesday the 26th um, so we're just gonna try to speed through this because my plan is to post this tomorrow when you're seeing it, it it's today but um, that's the goal is I want to film this and edit it and get it uploaded for tomorrow so we're gonna try to do minimal ep editing so hopefully this is like a one-shot kind of thing but if you are clicking on this video it's because you're interested in my pan that palette update so if you are new to this i'm going to recommend you go check out my introduction to my pan that palette i have been panning this palette for over a year now it is my abh subculture palette um back in december i decided that quarterly updates were not working for me so after a year and three months i decided i figured out it didn't work for me uh, mainly because i was just getting unfocused on this palette at like after my update, I would focus on it for a couple weeks. And then right before my update, I would focus on it for a couple weeks. So that's really like two months of use that I just was like, eh, doesn't exist anymore. So I decided this past December to do monthly updates for this year until this is done or until the end of the year. And then this is going to just move out of my collection regardless. So that's where we're at. We are going to talk about my Pan That palette. So first thing I want to do is just show you the, uh, the clips of usage like how they were um i don't have the number in front of me because i never remember how many updates i had because it's quarterly so it's like it's always thrown off in my head but but there are a lot of changes that have happened in this palette over the past month and i'm super excited about it now i'm not gonna well we'll we'll get into it so you're seeing the picture of the palette where it was, um, but this is where my palette is now. So um, quite a few changes and I'm gonna talk about them. So if you are new to this project, um, I had a few pans already. The items with X's had pan or were completely used up before I decided to pan this palette. Um, I focused on those two shades and then we had one, two and three done. Um, so adorn here, dawn here and roxy we had done at the last update or the last update and before now this update we've uh clearly made a lot of changes in here and when i say we i mean me past me editing me we all exist in my brain somehow so i made a lot of progress on this palette over the past month and i'm super excited about it and i'm going to tell you what i've done so what i did was the shades rowdy here um fudge here axis and untamed um they were all shadows well fudge was a shadow that i could have used up organically but the other three i was kind of like mm, not really interested in and i did talk about that at my introduction how i was not really planning on actually finishing up axis untamed and rowdy um even mercury i kind of was like eh, do i really want to finish it i don't know i do want to finish all the remaining shades so that that is that but these four shades i was just kind of like, I knew I wasn't reaching for these two. Fudge, I have browns time and time again in my collection. Do I really need to pan a matte brown? Um, no. So what I've done, or what I did, it's all gone now, was I actually mixed, I crushed up these four shadows. I mixed it with baby powder and made my own like dark, dark brown, almost black dry shampoo. And that worked really great. It get, let me use all these up. It didn't leave a white cast in my hair or anything like that. And I'm pretty darn happy about what I did. Um, granted, I used it in a way that wasn't necessarily eyeshadow, but it doesn't matter. I'm using my products with how I want to use them. Plus, I have a plethora of eyeshadows in my collection that I'm not going to miss shadows that didn't work for me too well. Plus the formula on this is changing, I am noticing, um, regardless. Let's just talk about the shadows that are remaining in here now because um, there was quite a lot of product in all of these four that I used up. I mixed it with a big bunch of baby powder and used it for a few days. Um, 
Now let's go shade by shade for what's left in here. And I'm going to put the palette down because you'll see pictures over here um, of the usage and everything like that. So the first item is Destiny. And I really haven't used Destiny a whole lot. I'm looking at my picture right now. I'm sorry that I'm not making eye contact, but I didn't use it a whole heck of a lot, but I did make some progress with it. So I only used it a handful of his two times. I used it twice the past month, which honestly isn't that bad considering it was only a month and not three months. I have only done two uses in three months before. So th this is fine. This is on par for, for what I can do. Um, but no noticeable change. And I don't think that I'm going to really focus in on Destiny until the springtime. And then I will like really drill down and use that like army green kind of color with more like springy kind of colors like pinks and yellows and everything like that. So I'm confident that I can finish that organically totally fine. Um, all star. I don't think that I made a whole big amount of progress on either. Again, I only used that twice. And I think one of the times was as a liner. So wasn't, wasn't horrible. Wasn't great. Um, Mercury, I feel like I just continue to make really great progress on. Um, I, I am noticing a smidge of hard pan and I really don't know how I got hard pan because I use it with the same brush every single day. So I don't know how like I got hard pan on this, but I do have a smidge of hard pan right over there, which I will take care of. It's not like that's going to deter me from using the shadow, but I have been using that in my brows now. I did notice that I like just like a little bit softer brow than what Rowdy was giving me. I like a nice deep, dark tail, but like the rest of the brow. It was a little jarring, just a little bit. So I am going to continue to use Mercury in my brows that way and just see if I can get use out of it that way. Um, I do also use Mercury as a contour. However, I haven't been using it that way the past month. So th that this usage is strictly just brows and not even every day. New Wave, I have made some sizable changes, or at least I can see visually. Um, the pan is definitely expanding to the bottom right hand side. And I think that I can knock that corner or yeah, that whole corner. I think I can use that by the next update. I have really been gravitating towards like orange warm kind of neutral looks um, the past couple months. So having new wave has been like totally in my wheelhouse and I've been super, super happy. Plus it's given me a welcome change from my pan, those eyeshadows, which are so cool toned. Um, that video should be actually the next one that's on my channel. So if you're interested in my pan, those eyeshadows, the updates coming, um, it should be posted on Sunday, but new wave, um, definitely have made some changes. I was really hoping to completely clear out the side pan, but I'm happy with the progress that I made in a month. I reached for new wave 12 times. That was a decent amount. However, edge I used four times. I don't think that I've really made uh, any difference. Yeah, I, I like really cleared off the side pan on it so you can actually see it now a little bit better, a little bit easier than it was. It was like a smidge at the very bottom that was connected together, but now it's, there actually is like pan there. Like there's no like little touch. It's like completely separated. Not very, very separated, but it is separated. Again, I have been um, gravitating towards these shades probably the most with the focus in on New Wave. So I feel like I should switch my focus and focus in on Mercury and All Star for January, the, these cool months. I feel like I should be working on these, but I've really been just wanting to reach for these. Like, I think it's because my pan, those eyeshadows are so cool toned that I'm like, give me warmth, anything, literally anything. So, and these have been super, super no brainer in the morning when I'm rushing to work. I don't have to think about it. I chuck one of these on and then like a nude shimmer, or like a neutral shimmer on the lid and I'm good to go. I don't have to fuss. Um, that is what I'm wearing today is I'm wearing new wave in the crease on lighter brown um, in the outer corner and then a like copper kind of shadow, kind of similar to what Adorn was all over the lid. But that was kind of just like my very quick look. And even that is more than I would like to do in the mornings. But that is that. That is my Pan That Palette update for January. I don't think that this... I say that now, but I really don't think that this is going to last me the whole year. I'm going to say that and then it's going to last me the whole year because apparently I'm just super slow at actually finishing eyeshadows. Um, hitting pan, totally quick with. Finishing, totally different story for me. Um, 
let's talk about what I want to accomplish before or for the next update. Um, that is definitely cleaning off this corner, this right corner of new wave. I want to completely get rid of that um, and leave it with just like this upside down L shape. I would like to do that. I also think that I can potentially clear a little tiny sliver out of mercury right here, just like where that hard pan is. I think I could totally clear some of that off, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make a whole lot of progress in all star. I don't think I'm going to do much in destiny. Um, same thing with edge down here. I don't think I'm going to do a whole heck of a lot with these three. So really I'm going to focus on new wave, getting that corner, um, corner pan. And then same thing with mercury. I'm going to try to focus on that corner pan. And that's really all I'm going to try to do. Um, we're down four more shadows, which is fantastic. Over half of this palette is gone at this point. Um, which I'm super, super pumped about. I'm so excited that this palette is like on its last leg. She is like holding on for dear life, but she's going to be going. Like the future is near now, which is really, really exciting. So that is it for my pan that palette update. Let me know if you are panning a palette. Let me know if you have subculture, if you enjoy subculture. I know it's a very polarizing palette. Um, I have really enjoyed this palette um, in its entirety. I will say I am getting sick of it now that there's only like the few and far remaining shades. Um, after Electric was gone and Cube was gone, I kind of like... That's really why I wanted to focus on this because after those two shades were gone, I'm like, this palette's not as special anymore. So like kind of fine with like using it up. So that is it for my update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.